Welcome to this episode of the Angry Beekeeper. It is July the 18th and the bees are flying like crazy. Now I've got my veil on. I just mowed the yard so I have them all riled right up. But I want to tell you a tale of a couple different hives here. This hive behind me here, it's a double brood chamber and it's got five honey supers on it. The first super I put on, it was nice drawn out frames and they filled it in a week. And every week, this here was added next. This was literally just bare foundation, no wax on it, just bare foundation. The next week they filled that and then I added another one of bare foundation, they filled that. I added a deep of bare foundation, they filled that in about 10 days. And a couple days ago, I put box number five on it. Once again, bare foundation. Now this hive is just on fire. In the spring, it came out of winter looking fantastic. I added another box to it early in May. So now it was a triple. Then I took the brood out of it and I made a split. I left the old queen behind and she never swarmed. And this is the result. Wow, there's probably 200 pounds of honey in there. The 18th of July, I couldn't be happier. And what they've done on Bear Foundation, I'm so impressed. Now, let's talk about this hive over here. Right here. Now this hive right here, it came out of winter a double. And then I made it a triple. And now you can see it's gone. It went away and it's gone. What happened is, I checked it recently and they tried to make a queen, but she never got mated properly. It went drony, and the rest is history, and that's how you lose a hive. Now this hive here, it came out of winter, a double. I made a split, and I added another box, and now it is a double hive, but it still has not filled that top box, so that's why there's no honey super on it. So you can see, you lose a hive, you have a hive growing, and then you've got a hive that just smashes it out of the ballpark. And this is what you get in a bee yard and you have to deal with each hive on a separate individual basis. And I'll tell you, the bees are just flying like crazy. I love it. I love it. You can almost hear the honey coming in. Like it's just amazing. And I'm telling you, if God had a job, he'd be a beekeeper because this is the best job in the world. It's just totally awesome, totally rewarding. Um, it's probably not for everybody, but holy crap, it is for me. So. Once again, July the 18th, five honey supers on. We'll see if things can keep going. We've had a lot of rain this past week. Today it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's 26 degrees. And I don't know if you can see, do we have, can it be seen there, Nick? The, uh, the Queen Anne's Lace, I don't know. That just came out in the last week. I'm told it makes a very dark nectar, which makes a very dark honey. So that's really nice. The, the chicory's out in full force, the tree foil's still going. I think it's gonna be a pretty good honey year here in Southern Ontario. I hear stories of Western Canada being a drought. Uh, a lot of um, the United States, very, very poor honey. But I'll tell you, right here in the banana belt of Canada, we couldn't ask for more. All right, welcome back. We just got back from the bee yard, uh, you saw me mowing the yard, trimming it, as in our video do's and don'ts of the bee yard, you gotta keep it trimmed, you gotta keep it cleaned up. I tried to show you a hive that was doing very well, it had five boxes on it, another hive that destroyed itself, it went drony, and another hive that successfully made a queen, and now it's two boxes, but there weren't any honey supers on it yet. The, box, the hive that's doing very well, the hive that's doing very well, I put a box of drawn comb on it, then a box of empty foundation, and then another box of foundation, then a box of deep foundation, and it's one, two, three, four boxes full of honey, and the fifth box I've added, if it fills it, it's great. At this point, it doesn't owe me, owe me anything, and it's for sure it's gonna make me 200 pounds of honey. I'm very impressed with that hive. In the spring, that hive came through winter as a double, then I added a third box, and then I took a box away. So in doing that, I took a lot of brood. It stopped it from swarming. And what was left behind was an old queen and a good workforce. And what you see is what you get. 
I also mentioned in the video, I don't know if you could hear me, I, I get pretty excited in the bee yard and I had my veil on and at one point my cameraman ran away because he was worried about bees. We had them riled up pretty good because we mowed the yard. But we still have white clover, that's what you see behind me. And the bees are hitting it really hard, it's July the 18th. We got trefoil. Uh, the chicory is just kind of getting past, but this past week, Queen Anne's Lace has come on really strong. And Queen Anne's Lace makes a pretty dark nectar. And as I've said in my videos before, as the season goes on, the flowers that come into bloom tend to have a darker nectar. Now our motto, I take care of the bees, the bees take care of me. Like, share, and subscribe, or it'll make me angry. Thank you.